This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So welcome back to Python series, guys. I hope you guys are learning Python. So far, we have covered very basic things. Today, again, I'm going to cover a very basic important topic. Just uh, we are going to discuss about break keyword and the continue keyword. When to use break and continue whenever we are traversing through looping concept or traversing any a list or array or any string and whenever any condition is satisfied I want to continue my loop or I want to break my loop right so in every programming language in Java also we have continue and uh, break keywords in Python also we have continue and break so how to use it let's see that so what I'm gonna do that uh, first I'm gonna create a Python file so let's see uh, okay break and continue okay and click on okay so this file will be created a very simple example let's say I'll give you I have one string which is name is equal to uh, name is let's see Alexander okay this is a name and I we have already seen that if you really want to traverse so let's see I create a tra uh, a loop like I in name something like this and then print the value of I okay print the value of I in bracket like this and if you run it if you run this program and you will see that uh, you will get Alexander printing over here right the complete Alexander separately printing over here but what I want that okay I want to put a condition over here that if if what if this i is equal to equal to uh, let's see is equal to equal to x in that case what do you want so in that case i want to break the loop like this okay i want to break the loop so let's see if you run it so run it and simple i would say first time a a is there a will be printed a is not equal to equal to x condition is not satisfied so it will not break the loop but the moment it reaches x so x is equal to equal to x condition is satisfied and then it will break the loop so that's why you are getting output till x only so only lx is getting printed over there right so like this guys we can a simple do a break statement like this now what if I equal to equal to X and I don't want to break the condition so let's see I'll take the same example with some with continue so something like this okay just a minute yeah and uh, instead of break what I'll do I'll use continue okay it means if I equal to equal to X then simple continue don't break the loop so if you run it and uh, let's see so see you are getting what exactly you're getting you are getting first lx lx for uh, because of break statement and alexander again you are getting for the continue it means don't break the loop simple continue okay so if you don't write continue also okay and simple print i that will also work but if there is a condition and if you want that okay hey, if i equal to equal to x or maybe some other condition you want to put it over there and then don't break the loop it means simple please continue don't break the loop in this particular condition right so this is a statement of break and continue now can we apply break and continue on list yes of course we can do that so let's see I'll give you one list str is equal to that is a list of uh, let's see uh, programming languages my programming language is let's see Python then we have uh, Java then we have uh, C sharp and then we have .NET. Okay, .NET. So what I want, the moment I get, uh, let's see, Java, I want to break the loop. So how will you write it? Simple for loop, I'll write for, okay, like this. For, let's see, uh, language L in, okay, in STR. So instead of STR, I'll use, let's see, range function that we have already covered, range up to the length of this particular STR. Okay start the loop like this up to the length of this particular str and then print the value of what print the value of str and whatever the index index is l 
Okay, we have sprinted on the console. So let's see first see it is working or not without any break and uh, continue. So let's see. Yeah, it is getting printed like Python, Java, C sharp, dot net. Everything is getting printed on the console. Right. Now what I'll do, I'll put a condition over there that if uh, whatever the language, right, if your str and the current index L, right, current index L is equal to equal to, if it is equal to Java, then what do you want? I want to break the loop. It means I want to break the loop like this. And before that, I print something, some message over there that, okay, print, hey, I found Java, something like this. Right, I found Java. And then break the loop. No need to continue to C sharp and .NET. So if you run it, now you see we're getting something like this. Python we are getting, then Java. And the moment we get Java, we are printing, hey, I found Java, and then break the loop. Don't iterate through C sharp and .NET now. Okay, guys. So please be remember, this is the property of break. Break will break the loop. Simple. It will come out of the if condition. It will come out of the for like this, right? So break means simple break the loop. Let's see if you really want to use continue. In that case, you can write continue. Okay, continue like this. So now it will not break the loop. Just opposite of break means please continue. Don't break the loop. Either you found Java also, it's fine. You printed hey I, ja I found Java, but don't break the loop. So if you run it, now let's see. See, again, now you are getting all the values over there that, okay, up to Java, Python, Java, and hey, I found Java, and then C sharp and that dot net. So, okay, this is the property of break and continue. Let me back to break. Okay, because this is a very good example. Sometimes, let's see, you have an array or you have a list of 100 elements, right? 100 links, text are there, especially with Selenium. You capture all the links inside a web list. I mean, inside a, li a list or something like this. Right mm -hmm. inside narrow list, and you have to iterate it. And the moment you find, let's see, some link which is equal to your expected link, you just click on it and then break the loop. Like that also, you can do it. So let's see, I'm not writing any Selenium code, but some real-time example. If I show you, let's see, I have one language uh, array or list is there. Let's see, this is Hindi, this is uh, English. Something like this. Let's see, this is Spanish, German language, and let's see one more language, Chinese. Right. So this is the, these are the three plus two five, yeah, three plus two five languages I have written, Chinese. Let me correct the spelling. Now, what I'll do, I'll simply start a for loop, okay, for, and uh, this is my index. So I'll do one thing. Uh, index in language, but I want to use range function. Okay, range and language. So guys, whenever you have to iterate, you have to use the range function up to the length of this particular array. Okay, or list. So let's see, this is my length function and length of what? Length of language list. Right. And then I want to print immediately. I want to print whatever the language list is there and the index fine so it will print this particular value and i use a bracket okay. okay now i'll do one thing that i'll put if condition that if your uh, whatever okay your language index okay, your language index is equal to equal to this is let's see spanish if you the moment you find spanish Right? The moment you find Spanish, what do you want? You want to do something. So either you print any message or you want to click on it or something like this. So let's see, I want to print uh, some message over here that, okay, Spanish is the second, I would say second popular language in the world after English, something like this, right? So, right, and then the moment I get this, I simply break the loop, right? I'm breaking the loop. So the moment I find Spanish, 
file break the loop right and whatever you want to write your business logic you want to initialize some variable or you want to uh, make something true or false in that case also you can write it okay so what will happen let's see with break it is working or not so let's run it so you say that okay hey first we found hindi then english then spanish the moment we find spanish we are getting spanish is the second popular language in the world that we are getting over here make sense right so guys on the basis of that we can print all these things like that you can make say see some uh, boolean value boolean variable you are uh, some flag is equal to you are making false initially right something like this i write like this false and the moment you find spanish you make this flag is equal to true okay flag is equal to true like this and then the flag equal to true right and then you break the loop and then come out of the system so now you can check one more if condition over there that okay if flag true or something like this and then print something so initially your flag were okay was false and then the moment you find spanish your condition is satisfied you are making your flag equal to true as well as you are breaking the loop also right like this also you can do it so now if you run it <clears throat> you see same thing spanish is the second popular language and uh, if you really want to let's see i put a debugger over here i put a debugger over here let's see. right and then i execute in debug mode and then you see initially flag equal to false and uh, the moment you execute it the moment flag equal to true is there right initially flag equal to false were there now flag became true immediately and then simple you have to break the loop and the program is over right i'll show you once again simple debug it again this is a debugger point i have written and it will stop over here if you mouse over right now flag equal to false because of this right flag equal to false but the moment you execute this line you just need to tap uh, press this particular icon right f7 and then it will break the i mean it will come at line number 29 and flag became true now so now you can say flag equal to true and then simple break the loop very simple like this guys you can do it okay so and then next time let's see over here if you want to print if flag do or something like this then print okay if flag equal to true then i want to learn spanish something like this right so if flag equal to true then only it will be executed so now you can see that i want to learn spanish because now flag equal to true already got true it will break the loop it will come over here it will see that okay hey initially flag was false but when the condition is satisfied immediately the flag becomes true now i can check if the flag is true then print i want to learn spanish simple so like this guys we can do different kind of manipulations with respect to if else condition for loops breakpoints continue and everything you can do it like this right so this is a very small topic i wanted to cover especially will be used like it just will be very frequently be used in whenever you are using any 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 kind of framework you're designing any kind of basic logic you are writing with the help of um, you know for loop or if else conditions like this break and continue please remember it's a very small thing very simple topic okay so keep learning guys keep learning python i hope you guys are learning python series and uh, <clears throat> there are a lot of videos will be there in future with respect to python so please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon over there so that you will be notified whenever any new videos okay being uploaded over there in my channel okay so take care and i'll see you in the next video